problem that I um, have had all of this time in this situation is I, I, I'm dealing with people who don't really know what I'm talking about. They don't really know what I mean. Um, and I just, I just end up in that situation over and over and over again. I did, I did get my eyebrows waxed. So that was, I noticed, I noticed, I noticed how thick they had gotten um, from the other videos. And I just, it's always, it's always kind of a question like, how do, do I do something about it? Or do I not do something about it? I don't, I don't usually wear makeup. You know, I don't smoke. I don't drink alcohol. You know, but then if I, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do something like um, really relating to my appearance, that's not just about just about ha having something to wear when when I'm when <laughs> having something to wear, having something to wear at all. Um, you know, something that might be considered. You know, I, is it is it is it is it too much? You think it's too much to get your eyebrows waxed um, when people are people are judging you about your appearance all the time and I and I kind of prefer them to be like I don't I don't really know I don't really know much about eyebrow waxing but yeah I did I know I noticed how thick they had gotten but that's the pretty much the extent of what I do for my beauty <laughs> it's like, and as you and as you get older you are you know generally less beautiful which I have accepted I, I mean I know I, I knew I had to think about it I knew I had um when I was you know what was I I was I was 31 31 32 before I before any any kind of actual sign of aging started to show, and it and it took a couple more years for me to actually start. You know, I don't know, I, I don't know. I but I realized I realized that I was gonna have to, I was gonna have to get used to it. I was gonna have to get used to it. And it was I think it, it was more painful, kind of at the beginning. It was more painful at the beginning, um, to realize to 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 actually actually see kind of actually see kind of the signs of it. I realized that. It was, it was because you have to, you kind of, you kind of have to think about yourself a little bit differently. But for me, it was more a question of thinking about myself in terms of how I was going to be dealing with other people, you know, and it's funny because you, you can, you can start that process also too. It was, it was something I had to think about when I, um, got to be of adult age and I realized that people, it, it took me a while to realize that people responded to me there were people who responded to me the way that they did because of what it looked like. And that was something I had to get used to too, you know, because sometimes people, people would really surprise me with the things that they did, the way that they responded to me. And they weren't, they it didn't have anything to do with me. It was just, it was just what I looked like that they were responding to. And, and I, and I had to figure out what that was going to be like for as long as I looked that way. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of, I've had to kind of get, do that a number of times, um, in, in various types of situations uh, and that, and now I have to do it, you know, in a way that's going to continue for the rest of my life, right? I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not going to get younger looking. I'm only going to get older looking. So, um, it's it really, really the thing that you have to, that you get used to is thinking about how, how you're going to kind of, how you're going to be about around other people. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of more, that's kind of more how, how, why it's important to me. And I miss, I'm, but I miss, I miss it for myself. That's the thing too. I mean, there's all sorts of stereotypes and really stupid beliefs about women and how they act and what they do and why they are the way they are. And, you know, I mean, it's, it can be difficult sometimes to be, to be female, um, and to be pretty and to deal with how people are going to respond to you because you, 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 you kind of don't, you, often you don't really know because sometimes people can have very extreme reactions to things. Either they run right up to you and act like they really, really like you when they couldn't, honestly, as a person, they could not care less about you. And that, that can be, that can be pretty painful. Um, you know, in, in one way or another, that can end up being something that's painful or they act like they hate you. You know, men and women can do that too. Like they act like they absolutely hate you and you have no idea, absolutely no idea why they're freaking out the way that they are. So, you know, you kind of have to, you kind of have to figure that stuff out. Um, it's, I'm not trying to complain. You know, I feel like, I feel like, um, it's nice, nice, nice to be pretty nice. You know, I mean, it's, it's one of those, it's one of those things in life, uh, where life is really pretty unfair. Yep for sure you know some, some some people are more beautiful than others and it is that that is one of those times when life is totally unfair totally unfair absolutely entirely unfair um yeah it really is um and so and so and so when I feel bad about it when I feel it, it's it's mostly it mostly is just like painful for me you know I was never someone who went out there trying trying to get things with the way that I looked never I was never one of those people 
Um, but I did enjoy it. I did, I did like it just, just to have it. I liked it. You know, I liked it. It's, it's, it's nice to look in the mirror and see, see something that you like, you know, and it's nice to be able to kind of like walk in anywhere. And, uh, unless, unless something is, um, wrong with the clothing or really, really is just in, in one way or another, just totally wrong for your, you know, the way, you know, the color of your skin and that kind of thing to really kind of look kind of kind of wear anything that kind of thing and I didn't really know until I got older what people meant by people who are young can wear anything I didn't really know what that meant but now I do <laughs> now I certainly do but it's it's one of those things you have to get used to but I think that um the conglomerate is so sexist and so misogynist that it has constantly tried to portray me in 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 the form of one stereotype after another um, so before my aging, they, they, they started to pay attention to me. This stuff all kind of exploded, like right, right on the cusp. I was right on the cusp of going from looking quite a lot younger than my age to start to starting to actually have, have some aging. That was kind of like, not, not even just kind of looking older. I look like I, people thought I was a teenager, teenager frequently, even when I was kind of like into, into my late twenties. There were people when I, when I was in my late twenties, people would, people would sometimes still ask if I was a teenager or they would be surprised. And I was always one of those people who looked a, a lot younger, looked a lot younger than I was. Um, I think maybe it's just the feet, my actual features. I think it's just kind of more my features because you can certainly see that I'm aging. You can see, you can actually see that about me, right? You can see that. Um, but I, some people have a, a facial type, a body type that looks older even when they're younger just because of what they look like. And I have, I think, features that kind of just read as being sort of youthful even though I'm not so much, right? Um, and perhaps perhaps having had, you know, oily skin to a certain extent uh, helps, helps me not to have wrinkles and stuff like that. Uh, although I certainly did not love the acne, still don't, right? <laughs> Um, but no, I mean, I think it, so the conglomerate has tried to portray me as all sorts of things, all sorts of things, you know, either someone who was always scheming to get men to like me because I was beautiful or, and then, and then it, it was like, and sometimes they were still doing that at the same time that they were calling me really, really, really old when I was like 35, 36, stuff like that. I'm like, it's just, you know, I mean, I have, I have proven, I have proven without a doubt that I am not like out, out, out to get some guy who has a lot of money to like me. I mean, I've proven that. How, how, what more do you have to do than spending four years being homeless with you know, rich men offering, offering to date you and you say no? You know, I mean, what, what, else, what, else, what else should I do? There's, there's nothing else that I can do and all that, and all that stuff is, is, has been proven to be untrue. Um, yeah. So, so I run, I run into this. I run, I've, I have run into these types of stereotypes, um, with the conglomerate kind of over and over again. Um, my, my, I don't want to, what, what am I even going to say about this? Leonardo DiCaprio on this night, this 19 year old, I, you know, I, it would be, I, I don't even know. Some of, some of his girlfriends over the past few years have been, um, have liked me more than others, right? I haven't, I haven't bothered with most of them. A lot of them I haven't even bothered with whatsoever. It's more a question of, uh, how I'm getting treated. And whether or not it's appropriate, this, this, he is a, a very, a very public figure and it's not, it's really not appropriate for him to be dating something that's 19, but I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's, I'm not sure, you know, I hope I'm not going to have to go through yet, yet, yet another educational situation where it's like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Are they still seeing each other? I don't know. You know, is it, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying not to be like, I don't know, making fun of her. Like, I'm here, I'm on the yacht, I'm in the mansion, don't you assure me? That, no. I don't, I don't, you know, even, even at my advanced old age, I could be sitting on that yacht, you know, with my, with my veins showing and my cellulite hanging out. <laughs> I just decided that that, that was not for me. That was not for me. I, I sometimes, sometimes it would be nice to, um, to be young again. And just in terms of like what I, what I look like, I don't, I haven't really, because I've had a pretty healthy lifestyle, I haven't really noticed that much decrease in the ability, of, like my actual ability to do things. I have been blessed with physical health, without a doubt. Um, I'm just very, tend to be very, very healthy physically. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> no, no, couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me enough to be doing whatever it is that you're doing, right? And even when I was that age, even when I was 18, 19, what did I, I went through after I was in the hospital the first time, which was after I graduated from high school. And I was a very serious student in high school, very serious. Um, and did other types of things with my time to other types of activities, sports, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I mean, I, it was after I was in the hospital that my self-esteem was so, was so shattered that I, that I, I, I got more 
I was kind of susceptible to other types of things, like wishing that I could be a model, wishing that I could be an actress. I tried to be, I tried to be, but even, even, even at that time, even at that time, the idea of being the plaything of some rich older man or any man, somebody's plaything was not, never appealed to me, never appealed to me whatsoever. I mean, the kind of, the kind of work that I did, um, was hard, you know, and took, took some getting used to, you know, customer service, that kind of thing. Uh, but it, you know, it was, it was certainly worth something. Certainly, it was certainly worth, it's worth a lot to know how to do that stuff. Um, and I just, you know, I mean, it's, 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 and thank God Vermont really did not have a lot, a lot of opportunities for me to be a model or an actress because what, what might I have turned into? What might have happened to me? You know, who might I have gotten involved with? What, what, how would it have affected my value system? How would it have affected my image of myself? You know, what I, I was always, I was naturally pretty thin. Um, there were times when I weighed a lot more because of psychiatric meds that I probably didn't need to be taking, but that I was taking anyway. You know, I was very, I, you know, I was like, all right, if you really think this, I will take it. And if you think it's going to make me have a normal life, it did everything but not, but except to make me have a normal life. It made me so miserable. But there was something to be learned from that too, you know, because when I got thin again, I had learned how men treat women that they're not attracted to, you know, especially young men. And that, that was, that was very valuable information, very valuable you know, so for the most part, I was never susceptible to guys sidling up to me, you know, because they wanted, they wanted to see people to see them around with a hot girl, you know, I, I really, it was, I was not really not susceptible to that. I made my own decisions, you know, and I, and I checked out what I thought they were like, really for the most part. Sometimes, some, sometimes it didn't work out for me anyway, but I did, I did not get used that way. I did not. <laughs>